What's up everybody, Llama King here, and it's story time. I want to tell you a little story. We just recently merged to Kingdom 82, about a week ago, I guess. And uh, we merged with this uh, other guild that had about 50 members. We had about 50 members, so it worked out pretty good. Uh, the merge went uh, pretty well, and uh, everything was going fine. Everything was going fine. The leader of the guild that merged with us decided he wanted to uh, have R5. We had discussed this before we did the merge, and I had said, no, I'm not going to give a total stranger R5 of my guild. I've had this guild for many, many years, and I'm not just going to hand it over for someone to just disband it or not give it back or do whatever the hell they please with it. After talking for a bit more, we decided, okay, that sounds good. Uh, shared leadership, but I'm not going to give you R5, and he agreed to it. I wish I would have kept the males, but I did not. didn't think I would need them. So we merge, and everything's fine. Everything's going great. Guildfest starts. Yay. We have like 93 members or something. Everything seems like it's going well. Everybody gets along. Everyone's doing their quests. Well, mostly everybody. Then a couple of days ago, he decides to send me a message. Uh, I want R5. I want to talk to a couple of other guilds about another merge or some stupid thing. And I said, no, I'm not going to give you R5. And then he decides to put it up in chat. You told me you would give me R5. Do you remember this? Something like that. And I said, nope, I never said that. I never said I would give you R5. I specifically said I would not give you R5 because I don't know you, blah, blah, blah. And because I like having R5 from my YouTube channel. I like having Guild Leader Llama King up there. You know, Llama King, YouTube, every, you know, everything's good. Right? So, sorry, I'm not going to give you R5. And uh, he says a couple of other things. I can't remember exactly. But all of a sudden, he leaves the guild. And then a little bit while later, he comes back. And then he leaves, and then he comes back. And then he leaves, and then he comes back. And I'm thinking, what is he doing? And this is late at night. I was already super tired. So I got all of my new dailies done. Right? All these dailies. Hopefully you guys are getting these all done. You get some pretty good stuff there in the last chest. And along the way, but mostly the last chest, of course. Anyway, so I get all my dailies done, and I wanted to go to bed. It was it was late. So I had a quest going, uh, do hell events. I had just did a hell event, and there were still 50 minutes left or something like that before the next hell event started. So I set my alarm, and I'm like, I'll just take a quick nap. Alarm goes off, do the hell event, and then I'll be good. So I set my alarm, and um, I fall asleep, right? Everything's good. Alarm goes off. I'm like, all right, uh, go get up and uh, do a quick hell event quest that reset my alarm and take another nap, right? Because I wanted to get those hell events done. You know, they only give you, uh, I had to do eight of them. They only give you 16 hours to do it. So I wanted to make sure I got it done, get my points, 352 points. And I come online and what do I find? We are down to 28 members. And I went, oh, what the heck? And of course I go right to chat and people are, the chat ex was exploding. Uh, can't believe he did that. What the heck is going on? Blah, 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 blah. Applications. There was like seven people sitting in the applications. I'm like, what is going on? So I accept everybody. Come to find out, Mr. Destroyer49 uh, decided uh, he would, and I had made him R4 because I told him, you know, you, you can be co-leader. You know, you can lead and, and all that stuff. Help me lead. Uh, take care of some of, uh, you know, the jobs I don't want to do, like ranks and uh, sending guild mail about uh, events and uh, uh, minimum required points and all that stuff, right? It, it's hard for just one person to do it. So he wanted to do it. So I said, go ahead. Because he was R4, he was able to kick everybody from R3 and down. Only R5, which is me, can kick R4. Luckily, I had a bunch of R4s for Guildfest for changing out the quests. A bunch of these accounts are mine. Five of them are mine. But a lot of these are longtime members who have been with me a long time. You all recognize Shady. She's been with me forever. Uh, Sourpuss has been with me a long time. Uh, Nazwaj, he's fairly new. He's been here a few months, but he's he's been great. So I made him R4. He's, he's He does a good job of what he does. Love Each, been in my guild a long, long time. Of course, Mama Lama. Uh, there's uh, Shady's alt, uh, Hannibal Herringle. He's been with me a long time. Golden Beer, he's back. Um, he, you know, he's been with me a long, long time as well. Lady Gel, been with me a long, long time. So you know, so I've got all these good members in here. 
Um, and I, I got a lot of good members, don't get me wrong, but luckily I had them in my R4 because he kicked everybody. Everybody! Not just the ones he brought with them, the 40-some that he brought with them. I mean, he kicked everybody. I was left with 28 members, and all 28 were R4, and then me, R5, right? And I went, oh my god, what the heck? So I started accepting people back, and I instantly message him. And he says that I, I actually, I checked my mail. Uh, Lama cheated me, if you are my friend and you believe me, uh, leave the guild and join my guild. Uh, DEO or something, deodorant, I, I'm, I can't even remember. Death to ever DTO, I think, death to ever. I can't remember. Some stupid name. And uh, he had already had like uh, 12 members join him. And I'm like, what the heck? So I mail all them. I got some of them to come back, but others either didn't message me back or they were like, no, nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with him. I'm like, oh, forgot to say, he changed his name. He changed his name to Llama's Alt and kick, then kicked everybody. So, so it made it look like I kicked everybody because I got a bunch of messages. Why'd you kick me? You're right in the middle of getting, why'd you kick me? I'm like, I didn't. It was Destroyer. He changed his name, his name to Llama's Alt and uh, proceeded to kick everybody. Long story short, um, after after messaging him a few times, he blocked me. I caught him in, uh, in uh, Kingdom Chat, called him out in Kingdom Chat. I got him to apologize. And that's basically all I wanted. I, I, I said, just just apologize to me and we'll end this right now because I, I parked my he moved and started his own hive. I parked myself right in his hive, put cam seven camps all around, uh, which peeved him off, which is was the point. Uh, and then I said, uh, just just stop uh, stop messaging me. I'll stop messaging you. Uh, hopefully I can get back, at least get back my members, which I ended up getting back, I think, I don't know, 90% of my members. I'm not sure if everyone's back. But then a lot of people that did join from the merge, like Ren here, um, and I think uh, TR Time, and I don't know, there, there's a bunch of people that are, that are from the other guild, Brunchy and all them. They decided to come back. Whether they're going to stay after Guild Fest, I don't know. Whether they just wanted to finish the Guild Fest, get their gifts, and then they're going to go back to... Uh, their buddies guild i don't know but they're welcome to stay uh, i just i just want to give a warning to people out there if you decide to make a guild or you're already the leader of a guild don't trust anybody even if you make them r4 um they can they can ruin your guild they can kick everybody r3 and below uh they can change your uh guild board your guild message and put racist stuff on there they, they can do a whole lot of damage to your guild so make sure whoever you make r4 make sure you trust them I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, we are now down to 64 members, but that's okay. After Guild Fest, uh, actually Guild Fest is going to be done in a few hours. A lot of people are going to get kicked. Uh, because even though we merged and we got a whole bunch of new people, there's still a whole bunch of people that just don't get it. And they just think they can just do nothing, as you can see here. Some of these joined after Guild Fest, maybe one or two of them. Uh, and then there's like one or two of them that are uh, low level. I think this guy here, he's like only like a hundred and some odd thousand might. Um, so he can't even do Guild Fest. So like they won't get kicked. Uh, but people like this, you know, Brunchy, you know, like this is just uncalled for. Like it's a guild. We're all supposed to work together to get the points. If everybody would have got at least eight or nine hundred points and did all eight quests, um, we, we probably would have finished, uh, guild fest completely and got all the gifts, but I looked and like, I don't care about the last tier. This, eh, I kind of wanted that, you know, those, those things are, are good. They're, they're worth a lot too. Three of them is actually, uh, what are they? I think they're like 8,000 gems each or some stupid thing. Uh, but nothing from this tier. Um, I kind of wanted that gem and then this, I don't care about this. So, like, you know, we finally got here. I wanted that. So, we're, you know, we're doing okay. We're doing okay, considering what happened. A lot of people were in the middle of a quest. They lost their quest. Um, like, you can leave. If you're in the middle of Guild Fest, you can leave your guild and come back, and you still have all your points and all of your uh, attempts. The only thing is, if you're in the middle of doing a quest and you leave and come back, you lose that quest. Uh, that's it. Anyway, so I just wanted to let you guys know that's what's going on. And then we have... Um, an old member of mine, SeaTac, he uh, he went off on his own there a while back, and he's done really well for himself. He's a big boy, big big boy. 
he's got his own massive guild and they've been fighting the sugar clan and I, I guess they're doing really well. He wants me to join their little family and uh, move over to his kingdom and we're going to swap some players and I'm going to go over to his guild and help fight in wonders battles. So there's a lot of good stuff coming up. So make sure you stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the notifying bell because even if you do have it buzzed, uh, you're not getting buzzed and YouTube just doesn't tell my subscribers that I put posted a channel. So many people are like, oh my God, I didn't know. Oh, like I've been posting videos now again for the last few weeks and I just posted a video a few days ago and bunch of people are like oh glad to have you back i'm like what do you mean i've been back for like a month uh like there's like eight other videos that you haven't seen yet and they're like oh i didn't even get a notification for this video i just happened to check up on you I, like i don't know why but my note my subscribers are not getting notified so if you, if you don't get a notification that i put up a video in the last couple of days just head to my channel and take a look uh i try to i want to try to post daily um, but the kind of stuff that I'm doing, it's uh, edit intensive. Like I have another Lord's Mobile animated uh, episode coming out and I've been working on it already for a while and it's not even near done. And <laughs> some of those are only a minute long and it takes me all day um, just to, you know, do the final edit. But, you know, some of these episodes can actually take days or weeks to um, to get done. But anyway, I am boring you. So get out there and have fun. Keep calm and lamon.